leadership is working to redistribute power immediately upon gaining access to it. Our job as leaders is to do the self work, to stay open, to listen and learn, and to lift up the next generation's movements however we can. To be a leader in the LGBT plus legal community, you have to be brave. You have to be willing to take risks and to stay humble. It means honoring and recognizing that all the people that came before us made it possible for us to achieve the accomplishments that we're so proud of. You should look for those who are seeking meaningful and lasting change. You will find these leaders organizing, persuading, and inspiring others through the strength of their convictions and hard work, and then walking that path with purpose and passion. I think that the most pressing issue that I see facing our community is the disparity between legal equality and lived equality. Legal victories are absolutely crucial, but translating those victories into how queer folks move through the world and experience their lives is just as important. The most pressing issue facing LGBTQI plus people today is the ongoing attempt to erase trans and gender nonconforming people from existence. Radical conservatives are openly calling for the extinction of transgender people, and no one can afford to remain silent on this issue. Anyone who has ever considered themselves an ally to the queer and trans communities must take action to defend the bodily autonomy, freedom, and serenity of trans people who are under attack. I am most alarmed by the constant heartless attacks, both literally and figuratively, on the trans community. These deplorable actions are taken against the most vulnerable of us, especially children and people of color. We, as an LGBTQ plus community, need to do everything in our power to protect our trans family and maintain a safe and supportive environment so they can thrive and share their beauty with the world. These vicious attacks on trans youth must not go unanswered. Having resoundingly lost the marriage fight, the anti-LGBT movement strategically turned its attention to the most vulnerable in our community. We must continue fighting for a world in which young people are no longer treated as the chattel of their parents and have their basic human rights respected. Being a leader in the LGBT plus community means promoting and advocating for a more diverse and inclusive space in the legal field. This in turn will allow legal professionals to thrive within their chosen fields of legal expertise. Furthermore, it means advocating for our clients from a place of solidarity and compassion, knowing that their fight for justice, respect, and dignity is also our own. To not only support the advancement of LGBTQ people through the law, but actually within the law to create space for the next generation of LGBTQ lawyers. I feel like it is an absolute privilege to do what I can to contribute to the very slow and transformative work of creating a world that is more just and equitable for all people. They can try to take our health care. They can try to take our bathrooms. They can try to take our lives, but they cannot prevail against us because they cannot take our identities. LGBTQ issues are intersectional by definition because the community always encompasses multiple identities. One of our biggest challenges is not getting complacent when the most privileged in the community might be able to blend in more easily and comfortably. The work is not done until everyone is protected. Being a leader in the LGBTQ plus legal community means understanding the importance of visibility, especially being a transgender person. Representative leaders are able to foster hope for young professionals, change the social imaginary about the community, and drive the necessary changes toward a more diverse, eco, and inclusive world. To me, the right to vote is the cornerstone of our democracy and the foundation upon which all of our civil rights rest. The increasingly brazen attempts by conservative state legislatures to eradicate the existence of trans people and trans youth in particular, including by criminalizing the provision of gender affirming care and supportive parents who facilitate access to that care, the exclusion of trans youth from school athletics and school communities writ large, classroom censorship and identity policing, 
all have proceeded lockstep with anti-abortion and voter suppression bills. This is not by accident and LGBTQ plus leaders need to not only take aim at anti-LGBTQ plus legislative activity, but also voting rights more broadly. Being a leader in the legal queer community means bringing your authentic self to work and giving back to the community. Improving the lives of LGBTQ individuals requires knowing where we are vulnerable, pursuing legal equity and inclusion across all arenas, and taking advantage of existing laws that benefit our queer community. It requires education, policy improvement, litigation, and perhaps most importantly, an unyielding commitment to making the most lives livable. Moving forward towards better LGBTQ plus equity requires us to maneuver through the world with a holistic lens. This means understanding that LGBTQ plus individuals come from diverse backgrounds and may experience multiple forms of oppression, such as racism, ableism, classism, or xenophobia. This approach also involves taking individual and collective action to use a combination of resistance and joy to challenge systems of oppression while also celebrating and affirming the diversity and resilience of LGBTQ individuals. Being a leader in the LGBTQ plus community means working to protect our collective interests and in being understood and appreciated for our individuality. I stand on the shoulders of Marsha P. Johnson, Bayard Rustin, and countless others whose historical impact transcends social constructs. I follow them and hope to lead those behind me. Being a leader in our community means using whatever privilege I have to look out for and pave the way for those with less privilege. It also means putting myself and my career at risk if need be in order to stand up for justice, for us, and for other systematically marginalized people.